So just doing this video for you to update you on some changes that we've made to setting up and registering. So once you've got your controller, you'll look for the ECU, which in this case is this one down here, the RNBT. It'll connect up. If you haven't already paired it, it'll ask you to pair, but in this case, we've already paired. Now it's asking in this case here to enable our Wi-Fi. You have the option to skip enabling your Wi-Fi and doing the registration. Enabling the Wi-Fi tells us that the, the system has been registered. So for this case, we're not going to do it, but you can set up all the uh, information. That way it gets all sent to us. Or you can simply skip the registration and it takes you back to the setup screen. Once you're in this set setup, if you've purchased a pressure only, you'll need to change it. The default setting is height and pressure, which is this screen. You'll come up to your settings. You'll come into height and pressure. You'll choose pressure only. You'll hit continue. And then you will hit save. If you don't hit save, it won't make those changes. Now, it will then send you to start a calibration. And at that point, you may not be ready to start a calibration. So you hit cancel. You'll come back up here and you'll hit your settings and you'll come in here and say select what tank pressure you want you'll set your accuracy um, e-brake function is for overseas it's not for the u.s market it's for when you want to lock out the air out and the low button so you'll leave that in the no position the sleep mode is so that you can access the system with just the main power on without having to have the key on and the manual mode is, is if you wish to add or splice in to our valve harness a manual switch box as well. And then all, all you're doing is telling the system that that is actually installed so that you can use it. And then when you're not using it, you come in and turn it off and you'll come back and hit save. So any changes that you make in here, you have to hit save for them to be active. If you change the tank pressure, the valve speed, the configuration or the accuracy, it will force you to a calibration and you would have to hit cancel, otherwise it will wipe out your previous calibration and then you'll have to do it again. The pressure sensor range is our two types of pressure sensors. The zero is our half volt to four and a half volt and the one is our zero to five volt sensors. So all the systems at the moment are shipped with the half a volt to four and a half volt, so that is set up as a default. So you'll come back, you'll hit save and you're now ready to raise the vehicle up depending on where you're setting it up. And with pressure only, you wanna raise the vehicle only to the amount of pressure needed to get to the maximum height. Now these are pressure settings, they're not height settings. So if you're running a double convoluted bag, you'll get closer to where you want. If you're running a sleeve bag, you'll find that you'll be further out on where you're going because a sleeve bag by design, as it rolls over the bottom piston, won't give you a much of a change in pressure because the volume as it changes isn't seeing a pressure change. It's only the volume of air as it rolls over. So if you're looking for an accurate uh, height, you'll need to run a height and pressure on a sleeve bag type system.